Well, November marks Childhood Grief Awareness Month, and today is National Grief Awareness Day, but one museum is offering a day of play for children who have experienced the very tough loss of a loved one. Joining us now, Scotty Hendricks Jr. and Tim Ware with a special event for the kids. So thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. All right, so before we get into the details of the event uh, that your company is sponsoring, Scotty, uh, talk to me about how Tennessee compares with the rest of the country. Um, we have some numbers to show you. Well, you know, unfortunately, Tennessee has a high rate of loss when it comes to children who experience grief. Actually, one in nine children in Tennessee will experience the loss of a loved one, uh, parent, or sibling before the age of 18, Kanji. Wow, and you know, you're barely developed at that point, so it's just really hard to imagine that many people going through this. And Tim, you are the executive director of Grizzlies Prep Charter School. Mm -hmm. And uh, talk to me about what you are seeing from your experience personally um, in the education system. Yeah, you know, so many children walk into our schools every day uh, carrying this burden of grief, you know, and I'll just to, to make the point, we uh, had a, a kind of a celebration of life last year for some family members and students and staff. And the day after, there was a young man that I didn't know he had lost a, a family member. So the day after, mm -hmm. I said, hey, uh, I didn't realize that you had lost anyone, but I saw you came to this event. Do you mind if I ask you who you lost? And he said, well, it was my dad. Oh, my um, goodness. And then he shared that story. And while he was telling me that story, another young man said, hey, Mr. Ware, you know, I lost my mom last year. And another young young man said, hey, my uncle was killed this past year. And so th those were three students that we actually were unaware of collectively that they had been going through this loss. And so when they were able to share that um, and we were able to provide additional resources to them, it was just another one of those aha moments where it's like, hey, this need is much larger than many of us think. And the impact on these young men in our school, we're an all boys school, so the impact on the young men in our school is very significant. Why are we told to just not feel? I mean, it's it's just it, and it's been happening. But I, yeah. it's, it's, I mean, I'm this is somewhere I'm going. But I mean, is it maybe is it a vestige of slavery where people don't want mm. they want to feel tough and that they can get through it? You know, I just wonder where that comes from and why that continues to be passed down. But Scotty, so your company has created a book to help children through their grief, right? Through this journey, um, explain what it's about, how this came about, and all that. So it's a book uh, series called Kai's Journey. And it was intended to help children see themselves in someone that is going through uh, a similar situation. And let me tell you why this is important, Kanji. Mm -hmm. um, I learned yesterday from a friend that they actually were orphaned at 10 years old. Mm -hmm. And through that, they didn't have any support or assistance dealing with the loss of their parents. Gotcha. And so this wow. book uh, series was created wow. to help fill that gap. Right, and so you have three books, and what are, what are they each doing? Well, they're showing from day one of the loss to, mm. you know, book three showing the resilience uh, that Kai has experienced and how he is moving forward uh, in the face of that uh, unfortunate incident that he suffered. It's awful. Tell, uh, Tim, tell us about the upcoming event. It's it's a day of resilience, I, I, like a play day, right? So explain this. Yeah, so this is a, a, the day of resilience is really created for us to come and have a space and both remember and celebrate the love that uh, we have for the individual who has passed on. And we know that play is a very helpful way to cope with grief, whether that's play for an adult or play uh, for a child. But the Children's Museum of Memphis is creating the space this weekend for so many many in our community who have been impacted by this loss to just come out. It's from 10 to 2 p.m. Um, and we're going to come out and we're going to have the time to remember, a time to celebrate, a time to, to cry, a time to uh, just be around others who are on a similar journey. And we are so grateful that the Children's Museum is creating this space for all of that to happen. And we hope it'll just be one additional step uh, for everybody on their own uh, journey of healing. In they that have space. the carousel too. So that's that's right, yeah. I love and, and so it's gonna be a situation though where you're saying um, people are gonna talk and, and they're yeah. gonna, okay. Yes. Yeah, it's going to be you know full of uh, conversation, mm -hmm. full of resources, uh, full of play, just ways to bring these children together with help. I, yeah. uh, thank you for being on the front lines and, and actually bringing attention to this. Appreciate you coming in. We thank you for having us.